Hey guys, so make no mistake, this is the time of year where, you know, our annual dues are, are come and due and, um, you know, those boards bill, bill you well in advance. They want to get their money as, as soon as they can. And so, you know, th this time of year for brokerages is, is really a time of a lot of movement. Um, and, and I want to challenge you today that, that if you are thinking of um, inactivating your license or just kind of pushing pause or really just given up i mean don't do that and, and and here's why i mean if if you went to the trouble to go to medical school um and became a doctor or law degree or you spent two years getting certified to write a specific code for microsoft or for apple or for google you know you invested time and money and effort um in something that you thought was going to create a payoff um and and a lot of those things, I mean, they they take time, and and so does a real estate license. And so, um, you know, I, I would encourage you today that that if you're at all feeling um, deflated or discouraged, I mean, look, you, neither you nor I can control the market, but I do know this: it's better to have an active real estate license than not. And so, you know, why would you give that up? Why would you just go to all that trouble? And believe me, I. I I, I talk to a lot of students before they get their license, a, a lot of brand new agents, and there are plenty of people that, that don't even get that far. They think about getting their license. Some of them might go and take a couple of courses, but don't get as far as the exam. And so that is not my audience today, right? I mean, all of you have invested the time, the money, the effort, um, and, and it's okay if, if it's not reaping immediate benefits. Um, these things take time. So as we kind of reach the the um, latter half of the year, or second or last quarter of the year, uh, please don't get discouraged. Um, keep that license active and uh, and keep going.